As a pharmacist, we have a ton of counseling points with these new agents. Um, it gives us um, an ability to have meaningful conversations with our patients and to be able to really counsel them and hopefully um, improve their compliance with these agents. Um, being known or being able to understand um, the benefits, but also um, the risks of these agents and how to take these agents will ultimately um, help with their compliance. Uh, so I'll talk about the first agent, which is the Lyriglidide. The, the biggest counseling point is um, on how it's administered. So it is a subcutaneous administration. Um, it is a once a day administration. And each week the dose has to subsequently go up. Um, so each week the dose has to be changed. And it's important that patients understand the reason for that. Um, the, the biggest reason for that is because of the potential side effect, which is the gastrointestinal um, discomfort that patients may um, face when, when starting on these agents. And it's going to take up to approximately five weeks for them to actually be on their full dose of three milligrams once a day. And I think that's really an important thing for these patients to know. Um, other than that, it's pretty well tolerated. The class of the GLP-1 receptor, receptor agonists have um, pancreatitis as a potential warning. Um, it's definitely class effect. It is uh, seen uh, within the diabetes data because this agent is used in lower doses for the uh, treatment of type 2 diabetes. Uh, while pancreatitis um, has not been a significant concern um, where liraglutide in the type 2 diabetes it still poses the same risk. Um, and while it hasn't been observed with statistically significant within the clinical trials, it's still something that we could counsel on. So some patients that um, would be nervous about the development of pancreatitis that pharmacists can provide counseling is, you increase your risk if you're um, chronically drinking alcohol. So if your patient was chronically um, and drinking alcohol, this would probably not be the best agent for them to be on. It potentially could increase the risk. Also, patients with high triglycerides are at an increased risk for pancreatitis. Um, so these are also things, if you, if you notice that they're on a phenofibrate, um, that would maybe give you uh, an idea that they potentially may have um, high triglycerides and then maybe a different option would be chosen for that patient instead um, when you're doing a medication review. Uh, but other than that, um, it's pretty well tolerated. The GLP-1 receptor, receptor agonists as a class also have um, the question of uh, thyroid uh, carcinoma, specifically the MEN type 2 medullary thyroid carcinoma. Um, which would need to have a family history risk assessment done at the level of the prescriber, um, which would potentially be a concern. Um, and then if that level of risk is assessed and the patient does have that risk, then this agent wouldn't be uh, an appropriate agent for them. The counseling points for pharmacists to specifically focus on with the combination of naltrexone and propropion uh, as an anti-obesity agent is that this is a combination drug um, of sustained propropion with um, naltrexone and that we should never be trying to make this combination separately with individual agents, that it should only be used as a combination together, even though individually um, it may be more affordable for patients, but these agents should never be, be split into individual doses. Anyway, the doses would be slightly different. Um, than what's commercially available. But it's still an important note for pharmacists to be able um, to put into place. Uh, because naltrexone is an opioid antagonist um, and bupropion um, has the potential, because of its mechanism of action, this has the potential of causing serotonin syndrome. So we would wanna make sure pharmacists can do a good medication um, history assessment and make sure that they're not on other agents that potentially could trigger a serotonin syndrome reaction. So that's a big counseling point for patients, uh, for pharmacists really to be aware of all the potential drug-drug interactions, which are many with this combination of drugs because of the, the two different, um, the way the two different agents work, and then to be able to counsel effectively. In addition, um, anyone with chronic pain or anyone on or off of opioid use should not be using this because naltrexone 
is an opioid antagonist, uh, would make that agent not effective, and therefore the patient would be at increased risk of pain. So these are important um, tips for pharmacists to be aware of. Uh, in addition, of, uh, for bupropion with some of its um, warnings that are associated with its use is that it could cause um, suicidal ideation. And so if patients are on other agents um, that, are, that are being used or being prescribed um, for mood stabilization, this would not be an appropriate combination for weight loss that these patients would be on. Uh, so that's another uh, important um, counseling tip and also an important information that pharmacists would be able to, to give to their patients and to give to physicians if they're being called and asking for uh, make, making recommendations for therapy.